Swamp Thing is one of those characters that many people always overlook, whether it's the comics, him appearing in animation, or even live action. But it looks like they're set to hopefully make him a mainstay in everything in the next couple of years. But before we get there, let's reflect on the cancellation of the TV series from the person that brought it to us and also what went wrong. So if you guys remember, a couple years ago, there was a live action Swamp Thing series that was received rather well. It was way more horror than anybody expected and really tried to do something unique and different. And I think it succeeded. Now, of course, we are getting a reboot, but what exactly happened with the series? We heard rumors that WB and DC completely screwed up working with the state of North Carolina and their rigged tax break and tax brackets. And essentially, this series that after the tax breaks should have cost around 20 to 30 million ended up costing almost triple that. Well, as it turns out, this is kind of true. The showrunner of the series, Mark Verhayden, confirmed that the series was canceled due to these budgetary problems. In part, he doesn't have the complete story because he wasn't involved with the financial aspects of it, but he confirms that there was a lot of things that were going on with DC, with WB, with what they were greenlighting, projects moving forward, different voices, what's going on, and how... The moment that the first episode came out, they celebrated. And the series was literally canceled the next day due to these reports. So while he wasn't one of the higher-ups that knew what was going on and can't confirm it, he leans into it by saying, well, it's out of his hands, but there's reports out there and we can look at them. And then he talks a little bit about how there was so many things going on in terms of characters being used, being put on different services, streaming stations at this time, that honestly, things just kind of went in an unexpected way. He also confirms that there were things in development for a second season and that they were planning a lot more of a darker tone and connection, but none of that could happen as, well, it was canceled literally the day after it debuted. 